It's been quite a while since I last did a Frogwatch update, so apologies for the delay, but I haven't abandoned the series completely. Today we're going to be feeding the frogs some crickets, and also I'll just show you how the frog's been developing. We've got no more tadpoles left, every tadpole has developed into a frog, and they're now in the terrarium, and they've been growing up, and there are some really big frogs in here. They're getting very close to being released, and I'll probably do that in another video. So today we're going to get them fed, make sure they're big and strong, ready for the release into the wild. Welcome back to Frogwatch 2022. These are banded crickets, one of the most popular reptile and amphibian foods. These are what I always choose to feed my frogs. They can come in different sizes. I usually go for hatchling crickets, which are the smallest when the tadpoles first emerge as frogs, since they're so small. But at the stage they're at now, I can use size 2 or second instar. That means they've molted and grown a bit larger. You may notice there are a couple of slices of potato in the box. It's important to feed your crickets before you feed them to your frogs. The better fed the crickets are, the more nutritious they will be, and so the better off the frogs will be. Crickets like dry environments and will get all the water they need from their food, so something like a potato or carrot are a great source of food for them. Let's feed the frogs. Frogs are mostly ambush predators. They often stay very still and wait for the prey to move before striking very fast. Some of these frogs are a bit too fast for me. What you're seeing is a frog with a cricket in its mouth. What you may see is a cricket right in front of a frog, and a frog just sits there. You might be thinking, why doesn't it just go for it? Well, frogs have poor vision. It's a bit like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. They're very sensitive to movement, so if the prey doesn't move, the frog doesn't see it. Now this frog is doing something very interesting. It's wiggling its toes. You can see it has locked on to a cricket, but the cricket isn't moving, so the frog isn't entirely sure where it is. Wiggling its toes is causing vibrations which it hopes will cause the cricket to move so the frog can find it again. The cricket does move, but it's too fast for the frog to strike. Well, that's the frog's fed. They are now big and strong, and there's nothing more I can do for them. They are now ready to be released back to the pond where I got them from all those months ago. Please don't be tempted to keep the frogs as pets. They should be released once they reach this stage. Also, please, if at all possible, release them to the same area where you got them from. Don't be tempted to put them in your own pond if they didn't come from there. This can transfer diseases and potentially unbalance the local ecosystem. But their release will come in the next episode of Frog Watch, so I hope you'll come back for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.